Hello, in this video I'll be replacing the older style IP camera with the newer 3 megapixel Hikvision IP PoE camera. In this example the camera is set up over the back door and the wiring is all in place. I will simply be removing the old one and installing the new one. Here is the old one that's currently installed. It's an older style 0.3 megapixel camera which serves its purpose in the day but it will be replaced with this one here is what's included in the box. The camera, the drill template, the CD, the Allen key, and the screws. And there's also a coupler in there as well to help waterproof the wires. I will start by removing the cover on the old camera. The older style isn't secure and isn't tamper proof and comes apart pretty easily. It's also a much cheaper style and made out of plastic. This older camera is a PoE camera, but it is set up with a PoE injector and splitter. The newer camera I'll be installing today does not use the PoE injector and splitter, but takes the PoE directly into the RJ45 female plug. The first step is to prepare the new camera by removing its cover. To do so, I'll use the star key that's included with the camera. In this example, I will not be using the coupler to protect the RJ45 connector. This is a low moisture area where I'll be installing this camera. However, I will be wrapping electrical tape around the RJ45 connector once it's plugged into the camera. The coupler is not required in this example as it is a low moisture area. To install the coupler I would have had to have done so before terminating the cable with the RJ45 plug. The drill template is also not required in this example, as the hole is already drilled. Using the included screws, I attach the camera to the ceiling. Give it your best shot and point the camera in the general direction. The camera can tilt up and down and swivel back and forth. Next we'll move to the network room. Here I'll plug in the other end of the cable to my PoE switch. In this example I'll use port number 7. On the front side is where I actually power up that port. You see the light turn on when I power it on? Now at your computer, open the downloaded version of Hikvision Tools. We recommend not using the version on the CD but downloading the very latest off of the Hikvision website. Once the tool is launched, double click on the SADP tool. This will show you all of the Hikvision cameras on your network. Select the camera that you've just powered up and change its IP address as required. I am changing my address to 192.168.0
192.168.108. I'm also changing my default gateway to 192.168.0.1 as this is the address of my router. The password to save your changes is 12345. This is the default password and can be changed later. Next, open up your browser and type in the new IP address that you just assigned to this camera. The username is admin and again the password is 12345. When the page loads up, it starts at the live view page, letting you see what's in front of the camera. Here you have one of my cats crossing the patio. Also, you may notice that there are Chinese characters on the screen. This can be removed by going to the configuration tab under advanced settings and image and the ODC display settings. This is the overlay. Click on the checkbox for display week and then hit save. This will remove the Chinese characters. I'm also going to rename my camera to back deck and hit save again after making any change. Back on the live view screen you can see the cat still on the deck. Once you're happy with the position of the camera, reattach the cover using the star key included. Once the cover is attached, remove the plastic covering on the lens. Here's what the final install looks like.